Now, the widespread nature of the outage is, of course, concerning, but with everything interconnected by cloud computing these days, a cybersecurity expert at Eastern Michigan University told me it's bound to happen. I'm not surprised. It's just um, the, the significance of the outage prov provides an issue for all industries simply because, um, you know, you have to physically be there to reboot the machines and the majority of machines can't be rebooted remotely, which is, you know, how a lot of us work in, in today's field. Should an update be able to create a worldwide outage? <laughs> I would like to say no. But this was a, this is a reoccurring thing. Um, CrowdStrike and other vendors like that um, that are protecting endpoints like the system, the computer, the Windows machines that we're probably both on, or maybe a Mac machine, are pushing updates all of the time. And ninety nine percent of the time, you don't notice. You're just like, oh look, I'm I'm logging in for the day. I'm going to do a news report like you, or I'm going to teach a class, or I'm going to you know stop a, a cloud security type incident or something. But when it breaks, it breaks. So it's it, it's going to continue to happen. But I think the best response is how people react to it. And it broke. Well, we invite you to join the conversation on this massive tech outage and let us know how it's impacting you. Head over to WXYZ.com for information on flight disruptions and the fallout for businesses and local universities.